oh, you're gonna make me do that. I don't have any regrets. I don't live with regrets. <laughs> Do you regret not wearing more comfortable shoes during rose ceremonies? I was wearing Nikes. I was wearing the, the whole, I had, I had Jordans on. I mean, that, that was well documented. So my shoe, my shoe game was A1. How many pairs of sneakers did you bring? Oh man, this is embarrassing. I think I had over 20 pairs. A separate suitcase just for your sneakers? All in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like, they, like, and you know how, like, I don't know if you know much about sneakers, you have like kind of like your your holy grails, like the, the sneakers that can't get scuffed. So they're kind of like over to one side of a suitcase. And then you have kind of like your workout shoes, which are like your, you know, you can just throw anywhere and then your dress shoes. So it's a whole, you know, thing. <laughs> when you were packing, did you like plan out your outfit? Like, and with your sneakers, like, did you like save like a special pair for the engagement in case it was going to happen? I... I wore dress shoes for the engagement. Okay, I was trying to remember. I couldn't remember yeah, if you did or not. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that. Um, although I would have definitely rocked some Jordans if I could have. Uh, I did a little shopping before I went on the show, made sure to have some key pieces. And, you know, there was some like, I didn't expect there to be that much kind of like energy or anxiety around that whole piece, but it's, it's crazy. It's kind of like, you know, pack and let it rip and see what happens so totally do you regret um not packing maybe lighter clothing to go to palm springs because it was so hot did you see how much i was sweating it was, <laughs> it was unbelievable i mean that alone is a story in itself 120 degrees um i mean i guess like i could have gone nude right like i, I don't know like that I, I thought i was wearing as little clothing as i possibly could have but um, maybe it should have been a shirt off season. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be next season. Um, do you regret not eating any of the food on one-on-one -on -one dates? No, I mean, I didn't really give it much thought. I mean, I, I, I think for me, any opportunity to connect with, with her, mm -hmm. that was like the focus, right? Mm -hmm. Totally. Was the food good there? <laughs> yeah, I'm simple though. Like you give me a, you know, a piece of chicken and a couple of sticks of broccoli and I'm, I'm good to go. Good to go. Do you regret any tears shed on The Bachelorette? I'm, I'm such a mush, like I cry, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. Uh, no, you know, it's, it's who I am. Uh, mm -hmm. At the end of the day, like, you know, we were talking about some real stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, emotions were high and, and like the human experiences and like human beings are built to, to cry when they're emotional and, and I'm cool with that. Do you regret having those awkward conversations with the guys after the fantasy suite dates or did they make you do that? You know, as I mentioned before, like the, the other guys that I was there with, I don't think there could have been a better group, truly. I mean, they were just really good, good people. And I think it's also a testament to Tasha too, like her ability to kind of navigate all that and um, hold space for a lot of those challenging conversations that she did that she did have, uh, many of which I didn't even know were going on, you mm -hmm. know, until actually watching the season back. Uh, just made me love her even more. In terms of like awkward conversations or, you know, like I saw other guys make out with her, you know, like, like it was just, it was part of the thing. And what I had to do for me personally was really focus on like my relationship with her and lean into the fact that what I was seeing, what I was hearing, talking to these other guys about their dates, their experiences, all that stuff was either going to get me to a place at the end where I was with her or mm -hmm. it was going to get me to a place at the end where I was not with her, but that's how it was supposed to be. Yeah, totally. Do you Did you watch back the entire season or were there parts that you fast forward? <laughs> uh, I, I watched a good, you know, I, I did. I watched a good deal of it. I kind of mm -hmm. had my little routine for Tuesday nights where I would, you know, kind of like what I would do is I would, DVR it or record it so then the commercials weren't there and I could kind of like blitz through it in you know like an hour and 10 mm -hmm. 15 minutes rather than having to sit there and do the commercials and all that right was there any anything that you regret watching <laughs> I don't love seeing myself in a speedo on television but <laughs> it's all I guess like the juice was worth the squeeze or whatever they say I mean like at the end of the day